Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is another makeup tutorial. I want to do something really grey toned, really cool toned because I haven't done a cool toned look in so long. I always do warm tones because I just love them so much. Basically, I was inspired by Nikki Tutorials. She did a Valentine's Day look. It was like a Fifty Shades of Grey one. Um, and it just really brought back my love for doing cool toned looks. I recently went to a MAC event as well and they gave us an amazing bag of goodies. So I really wanted to sit down today and just do a look created with all of the products that they gave me. We're just going to jump straight into this tutorial. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. So we're just starting off by prepping the eyelids. I wanted to try out this 24 hour eye base extend primer from MAC. Um, it doesn't have any color in it. I usually prefer like soft ochre paint pot. So I'm just going in with my concealer and just adding that on top. So we have a really flawless base and it covers all of the veins on my eyelids. Then I'm setting that with Makeup Geeks Vanilla Bean using my Sigma E40 brush. So I'm using pretty much this brush for the entire eye look. You guys don't really need any other brushes. Um, you can achieve it with just the one brush because it's such a simple and easy eye look to do in a sense. Then going in with Peach Smoothie, I'm just prepping my crease using that same E40. And then I'm going in with the shade Latte. It's just to build up a little bit of warmth because we are going to be using cool tones. I like to have a little bit of warmth in the crease just so it's not really flat. It kind of adds like a little bit more dimension then going in with a bedrock from Makeup Geek. It's a really cool toned mauvey slate sort of gray shade I'm just taking this on my Sigma E25 brush and then I'm going in with the E40 to blend that out So I did that a couple of times just to build up the sort of crease definition And then I would go back in with the E40 to blend it out and make sure everything was really seamless Then going in with Corrupt from Makeup Geek I'm taking this on my E45 brush from Sigma just to build up a little bit more definition in the crease and I blended this out with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek with that same Sigma E40 brush and then just to add a little bit more dimension because I'm extra and I like to use 10 hundred eyeshadows I'm just going in with Americano from Makeup Geek on that same Sigma E25 brush building this into the crease and the outer corner just to add a little bit more color and definition I don't know um, and I just use that same Sigma E40 to blend that out so I hope that made sense for you guys it's really easy to achieve it's not a hard eye look um, and then we're just cutting the crease as I usually like to do this isn't necessary but I just like to do it because I feel like it gives a nice base for the eyeshadows that you're putting on top um, and it just has a really crisp line even when you're not doing a cut crease if you guys feel me I just set that with vanilla bean um, and I just use a concealer to cut that crease and then I went back in with that E45 brush and just made sure I blended the concealer and the eyeshadow in the outer corner just to make sure everything was really seamless then going in with the shade Boom Boom Room from the Kabuki Magic Dazzle Shadow Quad from MAC, I'm just placing this over top of the concealer that we placed down in like the cut crease kind of area. And then I am going in and doing some winged eyeliner because you guys know I love a good wing. I'm just using the James Calardos, I don't know how to say his name, um, but it's like this chunky black eyeliner pen that MAC came out with um, and I just did a cat eye type of wing and then I went in with some New Bouncem Serengeti lashes. You guys can use Casey Rayton to get 20% off. You guys know I'm obsessed with New Bouncem. I literally use their lashes in every single tutorial. Then moving on to the face, I'd already done my foundation because I was filming a foundation first impression. I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested in checking it out. It was for the L'Oreal Total Cover Foundation that just launched. But I'm just contouring my face using the Diane Kendall Contouring Stick. Um, this is really buttery and smooth. It's like a balm texture. It's nothing like I've ever used in a contouring product before and it actually blended out so seamlessly and beautifully. If you guys can get into a MAC store and swatch this, I definitely recommend doing so because it was so beautiful. I just used my Sigma F04 brush to blend that out and then I used a teeny tiny little brush to contour my nose um, and then blend it over it with a beauty blender. So I'll leave all my brushes listed down below because I can't remember the name of a few of them that I used. 
But then I just went in with my Chanel 10 Day Soleil bronzer just to add a bit of bronze and warmth to the face rather than just having like a flat contour. I kind of like to have both and build up that dimension. And then we're just setting underneath the eyes. I'd also done my concealer off camera as well because I was testing one out in that foundation review. But I'm just using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set underneath the eyes. Then going back in with that MAC um, contouring stick, I used the shimmery end just to highlight my cheekbones as like a base. I didn't think this would show up too much because I thought it was quite a sheer looking highlighter, but it actually looked really beautiful and natural on the skin. So if you guys are looking for like a natural dewy highlight that's like for cream contouring and that sort of thing, I definitely recommend checking that one out. Then I just set my face using my Sigma F10 brush um, and I'm just using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Then with that same brush, I just went in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just used this to, I don't know, just further emphasize the bronzer on my face. You guys know I go pretty ham with the bronzer. I do love a good bronzed complexion. So I'm just like slapping that all over my entire face basically. And then with that same brush going in with my Peaches blush from MAC and applying that to my cheeks. I'm obsessed with this blush. It's so beautiful. It's literally one of my favorites. And then to finish off the face, I am highlighting using my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Gleam. The product shot of this does not do it justice whatsoever. It is so glittery. Not glittery, it's like shimmery and beautiful and I can't even explain it. It's like the Tarte Exposed Highlight, but with like a little bit of glitter in there, if you guys get me. It's just like stands out a little bit more. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, really beautiful. Then jumping back into the lower lash line, I basically just mixed Latte and Bedrock and I just buffed those along the lower lash line and then just applied some mascara and we were finished with the eyes. So for my lips, I was actually trying out this MAC lip scrub that they came out with. Um, this one was in the scent Fruit of Passion. They're actually really, really good um, and it really helped remove all the dead skin from my lips, which I love because I have super, super dry lips. And then I went in and applied a primer, which I've never done. I've never applied a primer to my lips before, but MAC gave me this one and I actually really, really like it. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but like it felt good when I was putting it on there. So that's all that really matters, right? Then I went in with a liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Kabuki Grey and it's from MAC as well. And just look how beautiful it is. I am not one to wear grey lipstick, but I'm really digging it. I just really tied this whole look together. I also went in and lined my lips with this Gerard Cosmetics lip pencil. I can't remember the name, but I'll leave it listed down below. It's not fully gray, it's a little bit more mauve toned, but I just figured it kind of fit in well with it. Um, and I was able to overdraw my lips and make them look a bit bigger. And then I just finished off the entire face with some Fix Plus. This is the lavender one, it smells so beautiful. And that is literally it. For this tutorial, I really hope that you guys liked it, something different. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave me some comments down below about other videos you want to see, and I'll catch you guys in my next one.